Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Ross McElroy from Fission Uranium. How are you today, Ross? Doing well. Good morning. Well, I tell you, you had a recent run-up of interest in, you know, there was a recent run-up in uranium companies in general in late spring, and Fission was just kind of leading the charge. And I know a lot of people were going, okay, finally, uranium is where it should be. Can you tell us, you know, when you think the uranium bull market might actually return? Because we're all waiting. Well, I think we're in the start of the bull market right now, and that's that's happened because there's been so much production shut down globally. All the major mines, even all the production in Canada has been shut down. So we know the demand is there and it continues to grow. The supply is constricting, and, and these are things that are that are making the bottom of the bull market happen. So I think we're actually in it. It hasn't been reflected yet in the price of the commodity, but it's coming, and we think our share price will... Uh, follow the, the price of the commodity upwards. And for all of the Investor Intel audience members that are starting to pick up the scent of uranium and are looking into it, um, I don't know that everyone appreciates how well financed you are. Um, you announced a, a 10 million credit facility with Sprott in late spring. Uh, we see a lot of competitive advantages for fission uranium. Can you, can you speak to our audience about that? Sure. Well, we know that uh, having some money in the treasury is extremely important. Money is king. Cash is king. It allows us to advance our project. You know, we're at the stage where we just completed pre-feasibility study in 2019. We're ready and, uh, you know, to and poised to advance to the next level, which is on the permitting side uh, with with our environmental assessment. Plus, we'll get going on, on the feasibility. So having cash in the Treasury allows us to get going on, on these most important uh, next steps for the project. So I think 2020, 2021 will be pretty significant years for us. And speaking further to that, I'm sure that many of these items were discussed in your annual general uh, meeting that you recently announced an update in your news release. Can you tell us a little bit more about what happened in that meeting? Is there anything interesting that you can add? The, the news release was pretty, uh, pretty straightforward, but is there something you would like to let us know? Yeah, I think, you know, it was straightforward. Uh, the fact that um, all of the directors were, were voted back in, there was great support for the for the management and the directors of the company. And, uh, you know, I think that what we looked at, too, was um, adding on the ability to consolidate the shares. Um, so that is something that we'll consider. You know, we're not uh, necessarily going down that path, but we certainly want to consider consolidation of, of the shares too. So those were the, the main issues that were brought up at the AGM and all passed. Ross, I think that's an excellent point. I don't know that everybody out there is aware of what excellent you know, team management that you, that you have and how long you guys have been together. There's a great following for you. Do you want to speak to that a little bit about how incredibly accomplished your team is? Yeah, thank you very much. And um, Yeah, I think we've, we've had a great success record. Um, you know, the origins to this company go back 20 years with our founder and CEO, Devon Howe, you know, started off a company called Strathmore. It's now uh, Fission Uranium. We've had success. We've made two major discoveries in the last decade, the most significant, which is our PLS project uh, in the Triple R deposit, which is a world leading uh, uranium high grade deposit in the Athabasca Basin. So. This has been the same team. We've been together for the last dozen or more years, and uh, yeah, I think we continue to build with that team and that success in, in the right market. And your shareholders, of course, I know many of them are exceedingly long-term. Uh, can you comment on what shareholders should anticipate in the upcoming quarter or two? Sure, and, and I think having that long-term visibility is important in, in the uranium sector. For us, it's uh, it's pretty clear what we're going to be doing over the next year. So we'll be entering into a uh, feasibility study uh, at this point. That's probably about a 12 to 18-month um, uh, period in order to get that, that study complete to a bankable level. So between that and what's happening on the environmental and permitting side that, that work in conjunction as well as community support, that's really where we're going to be focusing our, uh, our efforts over the next, say, 12 to 18 months. Well, Ross, it was a real pleasure interviewing you and securing an update for Fission Uranium. Thank you so much for joining us. Great to talk to you. Thank you, Tracy.